Okay. Um, I'm going to share, I'm going to solve a problem about open channels. This is just a sample problem about the topic. Okay, here's the problem. A 500 millimeter diameter concrete pipe with given roughness coefficient of 0 0.013 on a 1 over 500 slope is to carry water at a flow rate of 0 0.04 cubic meters per second. Find the depth of flow. Okay. So, uh, for open channels, similar na problem yung anani, niya given ang flow rate. First is, you have to check first kung aha ang possible depth of flow. Either above the center or below the center. So to do that, let us first assume that the pipe is flowing full. Uh, half, I mean half full. Half sa lang, no? And then from the value ang makuha na to, i-compare na to sa 0 0.04, no? Compare na to sa value ng uh, flowing half full. So, okay. so we will use this formula. Mannings, no? Uh, velocity equal to 1 over n, r is 2 thirds, and yeah, s is to 1 half. So velocity times area is equal to discharge or the flow rate. No? Okay, so let's assume that the pipe is flowing half full, yeah. such as this. Yeah. The diameter is 500 millimeters or 0.5 meters. So the radius is 0.25 meters. So first, kwao na tong area. So area is half of a circle. Ayan. So it's just pi r squared over 2, this one. And then to solve for r, we need a weighted perimeter. Katong portion sa pipe na in contact with water, this one. Uh, half sa circumference or simply pi r. Kaya circumference ito is 2 pi r. So, pi times r. Kana? Pi times r. 0.7854. And then r na yun, hydraulic radius is equal to the ratio of area over perimeter. So, area over weighted perimeter Area divided by weighted perimeter 0.125 or simply R over 2. Hydraulic radius of circular pipe is R over 2. So uh, radius divided by 2, you have 0.125. Okay. So we are now ready to substitute these values. A, R given S and N. Money atong Q. A over N. Times R raised to two thirds, S raised to one half. And the value is 0 0.08443. So, ang flow rate ani kung half full siya, 0 0.08443. Pero ang given na to 0 0.04. So, greater sa sa 0 0.04. Therefore, ang depth of flow na to is lower sa center. Kay 0 0.08 man eh. Nya given 0 0.04 man. So, nara din ang 0 0.04. Below the center. Okay. So, muna itong kaan of depth of flow. Uh, like this one. No? Below the center. So, first, kwaan ano itong area? What's the area of this? So, pag determine sa area, ne, we will go back to solid mensuration. Okay. Kini nga plane figure is called circular segment. So, ang saan ang pagkawa sa area sa circular segment, tinahan nila. Uh, Monetong depth of flow, di ba? And then, center R. And then, we have this angle. We call it central angle because it is based sa center. Let's denote it as theta. So, ang pagkawa na area, segment, Area of a segment is actually equal to 
area of sector is one, one, two, three. Sector, nasa. Circular sector minus triangle. Maunang area sa segment. Now, dua itong unknown zero, D and theta. Pero for circular pipes or circular channels, mas easier kung theta ato una kwaon. And then once makuha na to ang value sa theta, we can easily solve for D. Okay. So, ang area na ito, okay, area of segment in terms of theta ta. So, area sa sector minus area of triangle. Mo na area ni segment. So, mo na siya. The area of a sector is one half r squared theta. One half r squared theta. Pero we all know nga pag ang angle gani, wala siya yung trigonometric function nga kauban, dapat it should be in radians. The value must be in radians. So, since degrees ang makuha na ito, we have to convert it to radians. So, natay pi over 180. Mo na area sa sector. One half r squared theta. And then convert. Minus area of triangle. So triangle, we all know, sa solution solution, sa triangle, there are several formulas to use. Depende sa given. Now in this case, ang given kay two sides and this angle included angle ang tawagan eh. So ang formula na is one half product of two sides but since same lang sila R, so R squared sine of the included angle. So again, Ang area of triangle is one half product sa two sides times sine of the included angle theta. And factor out 0.25 squared over 2. 0.25 squared is 0 0.0625 divided by 2.03125. So I factor out. Ang bilin is this one. Pi over 180 theta minus sine theta. Okay. Sa perimeter, this one. Yan eh. Weighted perimeter. Uh, it's simply length of arc. And we all know that the formula for length of arc is R times theta. Uh, so, R times theta. Again, pag wala ganit trigonometric function, it must be in radian. So, I convert ni mo. So, 0 0.25 divided by 180 is 720. Yeah. So, with given, uh, with A and P, we can solve for R. So, R is simply area divided by P. So, I will explain area divided by P. So, 0 0.03 125 divided by pi over 720 is this one. And then, kining inside the parenthesis, I divide na tog theta. So this term divided by theta, pi over 180 na lang. And then sine theta over theta. Mano itong R, diba? And then, ato yung substitute sa formula. Amaning is Q equal to A over N, R raised to two thirds, and S raised to one half. With Q equal to 0 0.04. So this is the equation. 0 0.04 Q area, this one, over N, R dion, this one, R raised to two thirds, S raised to one half. So, ang ano na to is only theta. Now, the only way to solve this is by trial and error. Pero, with your calculator capable of solving this one, then the value is equal to 140.55. Shift solve lang eh. And the value is 140.55. So after this, pwede na tayo mo solve sa D. Now, from the figure, na na kay theta, di ba? Okay, 140.75. Mo yung D. So to solve for D, 
it's it is simply r this one from the center to the bottom r mana minus this one and from this right triangle this is the opposite side of the angle the angle is theta over 2 one half no one half of theta theta over 2 adjacent ne and adjacent is cosine diba? so this side is r cosine of theta over 2 so therefore ang d na to is r minus r cosine theta over 2 this side r minus r cosine theta over 2. Substitute na kay r na 0.25 na kay theta na 140.55. So, this one. And compute natin yung d na 0.1656. This is a very realistic answer kay sa previous na slide if the pipe is flowing half full, it's 0 0.08. Ang yung flow rate, 0 0.08. Now, ang atong given is 0 0.04, di ba? Mm. So, ang yung radius kay 0 0.25. So, you take one half, 0 0.125. So, realistic ka nila. Dili sa absurd or kaning not acceptable na value. Uh, so that's it. So I hope that you have learned something about this problem. Thank you for.